Multicultural Spotlight, presented by Chevrolet. Find new roads. Well, nearly 10 months ago, thousands of Afghans were forced out of their country. Many settled right here in Indiana, and now is it time to honor their strength and courage. On this annual World Refugee Day, News Aid's Katira Winfrey spoke to one family who escaped Kabul with just minutes to spare. Hard to even think about that perspective, Katira. Yeah, Alexis and Phil, five minutes. Five minutes wow. is all Nate Najia Sherzan Hosman's family says they had to pack up a few items and head to the airport. Now, although a harrowing experience her family was excited to get out, and now they are settling into life in Indiana, and she's helping guide others. It's been a journey, but Najia Shirzad Hajmand and her husband have turned their Southside apartment into a home. Watching the children play, you find no sign of the journey it took to get here. We were excited to leave uh, because we were not um, safe there anymore. Our lives were at risk. August 15th, the Taliban took control in Kabul. Two days later, the family received urgent news. You have five minutes to leave. It put everyone into a panic, not able to do anything but pack up the children and gather up important documents. That was such a short time that I couldn't... Um, understand and I could not figure out what what we are going to do in this five minutes. It was a journey just getting to America and once here Camp Atterbury became their new home. Being fluent in English helped the family navigate social services and find jobs. But that's not everyone's reality. Uh, there are families where adults and kids they don't speak uh, uh, any English. And with little to no English proficiency the journey is even more rough. She's volunteering helping Afghan families in areas others may take for granted, which includes navigating shopping, trips to the pharmacy, public transportation, and their rights and responsibilities. Starting from culture, language, community, everything is different here uh, than people had in Afghanistan, so it's a big change, big difference for people. Although adapting takes work, she's grateful her children have quickly found their place. I can see like they, uh, they have adapted things and they are fine, they're okay, they have made friends. And right now, many families only receive support for 90 days. So it's been a challenge for many to become self-sufficient in that time. In the meantime, Hoshman is working on establishing an Afghan community center, among other things. Reporting in the studio, I'm WISH TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.